Jason Rody, welcome to Nomad Nation. This is Alexandra Izia Benavides, also known as Arum Volta. This is the project, okay? The, the ultimate dream for us is to be constantly inputting and outputting stories. And we all bring it back here and we watch it with you guys. So we got 12 episodes for you. We got such a busy summer. That's it. We're going to catch up on the month of May. Starting with Canadian Music Week, That's which it. was our first in Toronto as the Nomads. Now, they had to convince me to go because initially, I don't know. I, why didn't I want to go? I don't know. Because you don't know, know anything about music. That, that <laughs> must be it. So we did about 18 interviews in three days. And we covered a lot of Montreal bands as well, other bands from Toronto. Did we do that many as 18? Yeah, yeah. That's just insane. Well, Young Paris blew me away. Because we got so lucky, you know, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. we, we went in there into his uh, hotel room. Hotel. We got nude. Uh, things just opened up, you know. <laughs> and uh, he, he started putting his makeup and it was an amazing moment. Carlos! My name is Young Paris. They, like everybody want to talk about girls and driving fast cars at 15, you know. But me, I was talking about like Gandhi and Marco Max. Don't take, don't talk, don't shake, gotta walk the walk and front that. All I need is a mic and a pen, no magic flavor, I like that. My niggas had a heart going up, but life is tough, but we fight there. When I say put your hands in the air, you ain't gotta clap, but I like that shit, ain't clap. Hands up! You should do an event with him here. His music is really inspired by his Congolese background. Right, he knows Pierre. He's probably collaborated with him, Pierre Quinders. So we actually had the chance to uh, to do his uh, lyric video. Yeah, right? which is not out yet, but we can show you a clip of it. Segway, C2 is so great. I was, I've been to C2 three times. Last year was actually, this is our one year anniversary that we were live, because we were live all last year from C2 MTL the first time. Cool. Let's watch the Richard St. Pierre interview. So Richard St. Pierre is the president of C2 Montreal. Uh, it's been, I think, two years. It was his second year, and uh, he's really awesome. He took us around uh, the site, so you'll see how innovative and funky it is, although it's a business event. Can, can uh, we bring in our first guest? Let's bring our first guest. Great, so on fait que là, on va regarder l'entrevue que tu as faite avec uh, Richard Saint-Pierre. Let's go now. Alors, let's go now. 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 C'est la quatrième édition que nous faisons de ces deux Montréal. Cette année, on bat quand même les records. Il y a 4000 personnes qui viennent ici, 27 pays représentés, la Lituanie, la Pologne, des pays moins usuels dans une rencontre d'affaires, mais ils viennent jusqu'à Montréal parce qu'ils ont entendu parler de ces deux. Incroyable. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez qui a contribué à, à l'essor de ces deux Montréal? C'est toute l'innovation qui est autour de vous. Donc, ce n'est pas une conférence d'affaires, c'est une expérience. Si on dit, pour faire un bon événement, ça prend juste un bon conférencier et les gens vont écouter et ils vont être contents, c'est plus suffisant au 21e siècle. L'habitude de la conférence d'affaires a complètement été changée avec ce que l'on a fait ici, à ces deux Montréal. On a réinventé comment la conférence d'affaires se déroulait. Ouais, up next. Up um... next, on nomadlime.tv. Oh no, no, on va checker nos notes là parce Une que. Ah, oh, on a fini. Ben, mais non, c'est ça, il reste le variety show. Ouais. La variety show, c'était tellement. Euh, tu sais, imaginez Saturday Night Live, là, que ça se passait ici. Let's actually end the show by switching to the Van Horn variety show uh, to close it off. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Carlos dancing over there. <laughs> I'm Troy Stark. Uh, 
A little bit about me. I don't know my ethnicity. I straight up have no idea what it is. We all have our thing, but I don't have that, right? Because I don't know my ethnicity. So what I've started doing, 29 years old, is I've just started stealing other people's shit. Try it on, why not, right? Like, I might be Spanish, right? So I'm gonna take this nap right now. I don't give a shit, you know what I mean? I could be French, right? So we're drinking wine tonight. You know what goes great with wine? Anal, let's do this, you know what I'm saying? I heard a while ago it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert at whatever you do. You guys ever hear that? 10,000 hours, you wanna be a pro? 10,000 hours, put it in. When I heard that though, I, I was like, that's, that's, that's too much, that's a lot, that's, that's way too much. Well, I don't know, can you be an expert at wondering if your friends secretly hate you? Pretty good at that. I'm probably an expert at watching episodes of Gossip Girl and pretending not to know what it is when people bring it up in conversation. Yeah. You have no idea how many times I've been on the bus and I hear some chick be like, oh my, God, I can't believe that Blair is with Dan now. And then her friend's like, I know I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> every time that happens, and it has happened, ma'am. Every time that happens, I gotta be like, no! She should be with Chuck, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Why are you yelling right now, man? <laughs> this is a comedy show. I have a microphone. I understand that you feel passionate about Gossip Girl, but as I was mentioning earlier in my joke, if there's one, peop one kind of person I hate more than anything, this chick that's talk about Gossip Girl in public. You're not helping your case right now. Okay guys, I'm Troy Stark. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great show.